What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy and you're watching Warful's Wars. This week's video folks, we are going to check out clutch number one. They're all shut out. Going to go over what we got, uh, double check the sexes of everything, let you guys know and see more than likely what's going to be staying and what's going to be up for grabs. Uh, we're gonna keep, we will be keeping the majority of this clutch, but there will be stuff that is going to be released out to you folks. So, before we get this video started, I need you guys to do me one, or actually two favors. Two favors, folks, please. First of all, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button, and drop me a comment down below. What do you guys think of this clutch? Are you excited to see this project go on and move into the future? Second thing I need you to do is check out the sponsors of this week's video, please. Gettysburg Reptile Expo LLC is located at the All Star Event Complex in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It's a 45,000 square foot venue with 125 plus vendors and top quality breeders, along with 270 plus tables. If you're looking for a python, boa, colubra, gecko, lizard, or amphibian, you've come to the right place. It doesn't matter if you're a breeder looking for that missing piece to your project or a pet owner looking for your next scaly friend, Gettysburg Reptile Expo LLC has you covered. Need an incubator or rack system? They have you covered with sea serpents set up there to meet all your needs. The next show dates are March 18th, July 15th, and November 11th of 2023. Show times are from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Make sure to check them out on their website, Instagram, and Facebook. Mark your counters because this is one show you don't want to miss. So I'll see you at Gettysburg Reptile Expo, LLC. Make sure you check out Chris at BNS Reptilia if you're looking for a ball python, blood python, boa, or colubrid. He's also a rodent breeder, and on top of it, he is Pennsylvania's distributor of Coco to Go and the Chipper. So if you need any of those things, hit Chris up at BNS Reptilia. Make sure you check out Nathan at Infinite Possible Pythons. He's working some killer ball python projects along with some other species of reptiles as well. He's also a one stop shop for all of your branding needs. So check out all of his information in the description down below and hit him up. All right, thank you everybody for sponsoring this week's episode. Let's dive into this video. I do want to show, showcase just one thing, folks. Bear with me here. It's not a ball python, but our carpet python male that has lineage back to CoverGirl, which anybody that's in a, is a Moralia lover knows who CoverGirl is. So probably one of the most famous carpet pythons out there. But this guy has lineage back to her, and he literally just got done shedding today. So he is looking absolutely fantastic. He's a little wound up too, but just look at how beautiful he is. His blacks, I mean, carpet pythons are just, here, let's get him underneath the light here a little bit. Just look at how beautiful this guy is. Absolutely gorgeous. I love his head too. Because the yellow inside the black on his head is like a totally different tone. Oh anyway, why? I just wanted to take a quick second to show this guy off because carpets, you know, I love the carpet pythons. Everybody, carpets have a bad rap. But as you can see, this guy is more than friendly. And I absolutely love this dude. Anxious to get him breeding in the near future. He was supposed to be breeding this season, but we had a slight malfunction with... Uh, Needless to say, some uh, females becoming a male. So, uh, you know, we ended up shelving him and going a slightly different route with the female that we do have. I say he's a little jumpy for some reason. I don't know if it's something to do with him from the fresh shed and, you know, all of sensitive, sensitivity being heightened, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, let me hit this hand sanitizer quick and we will dive into checking out these babies. Because I'm anxious about this clutch. This is going to be just the visuals, visuals of this clutch will be out of this world when we produce them. So here we go, folks. Get underneath the light here in a little bit. It was an eight egg clutch. Very nice size clutch for my first time on. Pairing, again, if nobody remembers, I'll, I'll include the egg cutting video in like one of these corners. I don't know which corner it pops up in um but i'll include the egg cutting video but the pairing was a desert ghost male to a pastel tsk exantic female so everything's gonna be double head tsk exantic and desert ghost 
So if anybody loves the TSK Exantic, this is something you might want to be paying attention to. So let's just start off here, our first normal up for grabs. We'll start off with the quote unquote worst, which these guys I really like. I think got some really neat patterns to them, some really nice colors. And let's see, what do we got here? What do we got here? We've got a little girl. All right, so uh, I got a little rhyme and a little method to my madness here. We're going to put her here for now. Just so then that way I know that that is a female. Because here at Warfels Wars, we use green for females. Pink would be just too cliche. All right, let's go here with this this one right here. This one's got a little bit more of what I would say a traditional color. That first one had some really neat tones to it. This one's a little bit more traditional looking to my eyes anyway. But a uh, very beautiful snake nonetheless. Let's see what we got here. That is a little boy. So, we'll start him off right here. Now, I do believe, if I remember correctly, it was a 4.4, so four males, four females. So, uh, the majority of the males will be going up for grabs. There should be one female more than likely going up for grabs as well. There's another neat one. Like, these guys, like, they're almost, like... They don't have a whole lot of pattern inside the alien heads. So I don't know if that's a mix between the Het DG and the Het Exantic or what. But they are just really neat looking. And there's a, just a lot of contrast difference between all the babies in this. All right, let's see here. You're probably... A little boy. All right. So the majority of the normals, I believe, were male. If you want to use the best reptile record keeping and tracking software on the market today, scan the QR code or click our partnership link in the description down below for a free 30-day trial of Husbandry Pro. I promise you, you will not regret it. There we go with that one. All right. Let's check out... This next one here. I forget which one. I think it might have been this one. I think it was this one that looked really wicked inside the egg just because of how the blushing is here on the top. Like It's just very vibrant gold. He's a, a lot darker than the others. So, uh, well, let's see what this one is. I don't remember. Like I said, I know, I'm pretty sure it's a 4.4. So let's see what this one is. This is probably a male. Yep, male. All right. So we'll put him in the rack. And what color is this? Blue. So we should, oh, it could be coming. Everything else should be female except for this normal that's left in here yet. This should be, um, no, this should be female. This sh should be female, yes. Very pretty little normal girl. I said we'll pop her just to double check, but she doesn't have s as neat of the tones as that last one does. She's got a little bit more of the, you know, the classic, super classic look. Very beautiful snake, though. All right, let's see what we got. Let me get a hold of them. Yep, little girl. All right, we'll put this one right here. All right, now we're left with the ones that, if, if everybody remembers from the uh, egg cutting, and everything that looked almost desert ghost in the egg. They are just pastels though. Sadly, we weren't fortunate enough to have a hidden uh, het floating around, 
but look, I mean, these, these things are just out of this world. Like the brightness of them, the intensities, the um, richness of the blacks. I'll get underneath the light here a little bit. I love the heads. Ab like these guys just turned out absolutely gorgeous. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now, if I do remember correctly, these, the pastels should be a 1.2. So this here is a little girl. So she is definitely staying. No questions about that. Absolutely beautiful. Stay in there, sweetie. Check this one out here. This one's got a little bit more dirtiness to it up here on the top. Here at my thumb and stuff. A little bit dirtier than the others, but still absolutely beautiful. Love the heads on these. Like they're almost like they always have the arrowhead to them. Almost connecting here. Absolutely love these things. So nice and clean for the most part. Even though it's a little dirty on top, it's still such clean sides. A nice white outlining. Let's see what this one is. This is the little boy. All right, so here's our male. He will definitely be staying as well. Put him actually. Yeah, let's move him up here for now. I always put the stuff that's staying here first. Just that way I don't get it mixed up. It's easier for me to remember. And last but not, certainly not least, because this girl is probably one of the cleanest out of the group. That first one was probably the cleanest. This girl's absolutely just a stunner, too. Very beautiful female. Like I said, I do believe she is female. Let's just double check her here quick. And we got some poop. Yep, little girl. So she will definitely be staying as well. I'm planning on keeping a 1.3 out of all of these. So one male, three female. So obviously, so obviously all the pastel stuff will be staying here just solely because nothing goes better with Desert Ghost and Exantic than pastel. So Makes perfect sense as to why they're going to go for a drink in their water bowl. Um, so it makes perfect sense as to why I would keep them because they are the best I could hit out of the clutch. They're going to give me the best of what I want to make in the future. So that being said, there should be one female normal. That's a double head TSK Exantic and Desert Ghost up for grabs. And three males that are double head TSK Exantic and Desert Ghost up for grabs. So... Make sure you guys hit me up if you're interested. Um, I will be re putting them up. You know, I will let every, let it be known when they are ready to go and all that good stuff. So if you're interested, drop me a comment down below and let me know. And that's going to be it for this week's video, folks. I hope you all have really enjoyed this clutch. Those are some absolutely beautiful animals. I wish we would have had a couple more pastels, but who doesn't want to have the extra genes thrown in there? Um, still super happy with what we produced. And on top of it, I can't wait to produce that visual DG Exantic. That thing's going to be so amazing. But do me a favor. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Drop me a comment down below. What did you guys think of this clutch? And let me know, like I said, are you interested in any of them? Do you think I should keep all the females even, maybe? Let me know your thoughts. Um, but drop it down there in the comments for me. Also, make sure you check out the sponsors of this week's episode, please. And on top of it, I forgot to mention this in the beginning. If you are not using Husbandry Pro yet, click our affiliate link in the description down below. It's a free 30-day trial, folks. You, you can't go wrong with free 30-day trials of anything. Um, it's absolutely amazing uh, record-keeping and tracking software. I mean, you don't even have to use it just for snakes. You can use it for anything. Lizards, whatever. Fish, even if you want. You know, Heck, I think somebody even uses it for their oil changes on their car. 
So you can use it for just about anything. It's very customizable and it's basically shaped by the users and it's just an amazing software. I, I, it saves me so much time and I can't imagine using anything else but Husbandry Pro. So that's going to be it folks. I'll catch you next time. Later.